Steve Hines has spent more time going to doctor appointments than he ever imagined. He never knew anything was wrong until a routine physical showed his heart was beating erratically. There will be two or three uh, regular beats, then it will be like a real low one or it'll be real quick. It was persistent AFib, and twice doctors have performed ablations, Thanks making so tiny scars on his heart to stop the irregular beats. But after both treatments, the AFib came back. He is really a, a, a poster child for the challenge that we have with with persistent atrial fibrillation. Now that challenge is being met head on inside a lab at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center. Vadim Fedorov and his team bring the atria or upper chambers of donated human hearts back to life to look for answers. It's amazing, you can see the heart beating back again. Of course, it's disease hearts. It doesn't beat appropriately. But it does give some insight into why it's not beating appropriately. The heart is placed in a dish surrounded by four cameras and injected with dye to detect electrical activity. Normal imaging can capture about 200 recordings of the heart. This records 40,000 in 3D. We can see through the heart. We can see and they need different depths. That allows mapping of the heart like never before and gives doctors new targets in complex cases like Steve's. I don't think we would have been able to, to fix his atrial fibrillation um, without Vadim's work. You don't see this really being done anywhere else because it's not easy. I'm pretty fortunate because I've been able to be with people that think outside the box. And that's cool. I, I like thinking outside the box. At Ohio State Wexner Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.